Trucks are some of the most complex machines on the road, built to carry incredible loads, drive millions of kilometers, and survive the harshest conditions. But have you ever wondered what actually goes into making one work? From the engine that powers it, to the fifth wheel that connects it, to the dozens of hidden parts you never see. Let's break down every major truck component and explain what each one does, all in under 10 minutes. Everything begins here, the engine. Most heavy duty trucks use large inline six diesel engines, usually between 11 and 16 liters. That's up to 10 times the size of a car engine. They're built for torque, not speed. Torque is what moves 40 tons from a standstill. Instead of high revs, truck engines produce massive pulling power at low RPMs, often below 1200 revolutions per minute. Inside, you'll find steel pistons, forged crankshafts, and turbochargers that compress air for extra power. These engines can easily last 1.5 million kilometers with proper maintenance, something almost no car engine could dream of. Modern trucks are basically rolling computers. The ECU, engine control unit, monitors everything, fuel pressure, turbo boost, emissions, and even driving style. On newer trucks, multiple ECUs communicate through a CAN bus system, managing things like transmission shifts, braking balance, and even adaptive cruise control. This allows the truck to be powerful, fuel efficient, and compliant with strict emission rules at the same time. Next up, the gearbox, the link between engine and drive wheels. Trucks don't just have six gears like cars. They can have 12, 16, or even 18 gears. Older models used manual transmissions with longer gear levers and double clutch systems. But today, most long haul trucks use automated manual transmissions, AMTs. These are computer controlled manuals. They shift automatically, but still use a clutch in traditional gear sets giving you the best of both worlds, efficiency and comfort. The transmission helps the engine stay in its sweet spot, the perfect RPM range for pulling heavy loads without wasting fuel. The clutch connects or disconnects power from the engine to the transmission. In heavy trucks, it's not a single disc like in a car. It's a massive twin plate clutch built to handle enormous torque. From there, power travels down the drive shaft, a long spinning tube that sends rotation to the rear axles, the heart of the truck's traction. Here's where things get interesting. Most American trucks use tandem axles, two drive axles at the rear. Each has a differential, which splits torque between the left and right wheels so they can rotate at different speeds when turning. Some have inter-axle differentials too, allowing torque to be shared evenly between both rear axles. And if things get slippery, drivers can lock these differentials for full traction, sending equal power to all drive wheels. Suspension in a truck has two jobs, support huge weight and provide stability. Older models used leaf spring suspension, thick metal strips stacked together. Modern trucks often use air suspension, where airbags filled with compressed air absorb bumps and automatically level the ride height. It not only improves comfort, but also protects fragile cargo and allows height adjustment when connecting or disconnecting trailers. Stopping 40 tons isn't easy. Truck brakes are air powered, not hydraulic like cars. An air compressor fills tanks with pressurized air. When the driver hits the brake pedal, valves release that air into the brake chambers at each wheel, pushing huge pistons that apply the brakes. Most modern trucks use disc brakes, but drum brakes are still common for durability. They also have engine brakes and retarders, systems that use engine compression or transmission resistance to slow down without wearing out the main brakes. That's why you sometimes hear that loud burr sound on downhill roads. Everything sits on the chassis, a massive steel ladder frame made from reinforced beams. It's designed to flex slightly under heavy loads without cracking. The frame holds the engine, cab, axles, fuel tanks, and suspension. Basically, it's the truck's backbone. 
It must handle extreme torsion when cornering or going over uneven roads while carrying tons of cargo. Now, let's talk about where the driver lives. The cab. There are two main designs. Conventional, long nose, common in the US. Cab over engine, COE, common in Europe where space efficiency matters. Inside, cabs have evolved from bare metal boxes to mini apartments on wheels, with climate control, beds, refrigerators, and digital dashboards. Safety has also improved. Airbags, reinforced cabins, and advanced driver assist systems are now standard. This is the heart of every tractor-trailer connection, the fifth wheel coupling. It's a large, greased plate with a locking mechanism that connects to the kingpin on the trailer. It allows rotation and pivoting between the tractor and trailer, which is why trucks can turn so sharply despite their size. When the driver backs under a trailer, the kingpin slides into the fifth wheel, locks in place, and the air and electrical lines connect, completing the system. Trailers come in endless shapes and purposes. Dry vans for general cargo, flatbeds for machinery or building materials, reefers, refrigerated trailers for food and temperature-sensitive goods, tanker trailers for liquids and fuel, low boys for oversized equipment. Each type changes how the truck handles, brakes, and turns, and requires different skills to drive safely. Some trailers have self-steering axles that turn slightly to follow curves more naturally, reducing tire wear and road damage. A truck's electrical system runs on 24 volts, twice that of a car, to power everything from lights to sensors. Massive alternators and dual batteries keep it all running. Air systems go beyond braking. They power the suspension, seat adjustment, horns, and even door locks on some models. All these systems must be leak-free and perfectly maintained, or the truck can literally come to a stop if air pressure drops too low. Trucks generate huge amounts of heat, so cooling is critical. A large radiator at the front keeps engine temperatures in check, while oil coolers, intercoolers, and fan clutches work together to prevent overheating, especially on long climbs or hot days. Today's trucks are far cleaner than they used to be, thanks to after-treatment systems like diesel particulate filters, DPF, and selective catalytic reduction, SCR, Modern engines remove most soot and nitrous oxide emissions. They use AdBlue or DEF fluid, a urea-based solution injected into the exhaust stream to neutralize harmful gases. Without these systems, trucks couldn't meet Euro 6 or EPA standards. Fuel is stored in large aluminum tanks, typically holding 400 to 800 liters. A high-pressure common rail system injects fuel directly into each cylinder at over 2,500 bar, ensuring perfect combustion and efficiency. Diesel may not sound glamorous, but it's still the most energy-dense, efficient way to power long-haul transport, at least for now. Truck tires are engineering marvels. Each can handle over 4 tons of weight, and they're designed for minimal rolling resistance and maximum lifespan often retreaded multiple times before replacement. They're also inflated to around 8 to 9 bar, 120 to 130 psi, which is critical for safety and fuel efficiency. Even a small pressure drop can cost thousands in fuel per year. And as the industry evolves, new parts are being added. Electric trucks replace the engine, transmission, and fuel system with battery packs, inverters, and electric axles. Meanwhile, hydrogen fuel cell trucks still use electric motors but generate electricity on board using hydrogen gas. Both systems simplify the driveline dramatically, but add new challenges in weight, cost, and range. So next time you see a truck rolling down the highway, remember, beneath that metal is a symphony of engineering. Thousands of parts working together with perfect timing. From the roar of the engine to the hiss of the air brakes. Every sound tells part of the story. It's not just a machine. It's a masterpiece of power, precision, and endurance. And now, when someone says it's just a truck, you'll know it's so much more than that.